go across uh, to Salman Khurshid, who joins us at this stage. Thanks, sir, very much for being with us. Mr. Khurshid, there's a bottom line here. The BJP appears to be returning to power despite the surge of the India alliance. Um, you know, it is still a landmark win with the Prime Minister likely returning for the third time. The first PM to return for a third time since Nehru. Uh, in as much as this is an election where the opposition has revived, is that perhaps the bigger story that they are coming back? I, well, it, it really depends. I mean, if you want to do superficial politics, then that's the big story. But if you look a little bit deeper, uh, you have to take into account the kind of result they've got. I mean, they had everything at their command, everything, including a perception about the prime minister himself everything in their command and now you turn around and you look at results and you find what you find BJP leaders winning the election Mr. Chauhan winning an election by over five six lakh votes or seven lakh votes and Mr. Modi going to his his uh, hometown uh, Varanasi and winning against an ordinary ordinary Congress leader by one lakh fifty thousand votes now this is the this is the greater story, the biggest story, um, but it depends on what you're what you're looking for. I think the rejection of many things that the BJP has stood for is writ large as far as this result is concerned. Maybe the maybe the mathematics is not that that effective as far as we are concerned. Okay, uh, Mr. Hushit, the question certainly is that uh, Indian politics is back. Uh, in the era of coalitions, uh, what do you think will be the implications because you were part of the UPA on overall governance, policy making uh, and, and uh, you know, how will that be impacted? Well, I think, uh, I, I think either way, I mean either way, it's either, either uh, we, we, get a, we get a BJP coalition government or perhaps, perhaps and it's a very big perhaps, we get a, a coalition uh, India government or that the India, India coalition remains in opposition to the BJP coalition. One thing is very clear that this is not going to be a dictatorial functioning of, of, uh, uh, of politics in this country. It will have to be some, something more sensitive, more accommodative, more uh, uh, taking into account different, different kinds of interests. And the sort of uh, sort of thing that one once saw with the CBI and and the ED etc., that's not something that we'll see a repeat of in a hurry. So one final question: Are you still optimistic uh, of an opposition coalition uh, coming together? Something uh, uh, you know that that might even be worked out potentially in the next day or two, or is that you know given the numbers fairly unrealistic? Well, anything can happen in the next day or two, but yes, I agree with you that it's a long shot. It's not, and it's of obviously not necessarily uh, on the table as yet. Uh, Mr. Gandhi has made it very clear that they will go into a conversation with all the partners tomorrow, and something may come out of it. But in any case, in any case, I think that the kind of stability that we had got accustomed to in the last 10 years, good or bad stability, but the stability we've got uh, accustomed to in the last 10 years is unlikely to hold true now for the next two, three years. Whoever forms the government and in whichever, whichever manner the government is formed, but I don't think that we can hope for this kind of stability. A little bit of what happens at the state level all the time in the recent years will begin, will begin to influence politics here at the center, which may not necessarily be a good thing, frankly.